My name is Stacy Hummison. And I'm Madison Woodruff. And we're going to talk about classical versus Keynesian e economics. The theory of a classical economy is made up of two different parts. The stability of the economy and its ability to self-regulate through the invisible hand, not by government interference. With the invisible hand, prices fluctuate because of the actions in a market. From 1776 to 1936, a classical era defined the United States economy. Classical economists argue that price fluctuations in a long-term economy are expected. What these classical theorists did not realize was that the short-run problems would have such a large impact on the economy as a whole. When the Great Depression hit, unemployment became a serious problem and prices fell because there was no demand for anything. This is when John Keynes stepped in and began addressing short-term issues. He believed the economy would not self-regulate during the Depression, so the government needed to interfere to help stabilize and bring the economy back up. In a Keynesian economy, theorists believe the economy is unstable and does not self-regulate. Therefore, government interference can be useful. Beginning in 1936, the Keynesian era focused on the short-run issues that the United States economy was experiencing until the 1970s. A new classical era represented the economy through the rest of the 90s and into the first decade of the millennium, because no short-run issues occurred. Because of the current recession that the economy is facing, a resurgent Keynesian era is expected to restabilize and correct the short-run problems that the United States is encountering.